Geologists say that sinkholes happen as acidic rain erodes the bedrock and the land above it becomes unstable. Even northeast Wisconsin is no stranger to sinkholes. Fox 11's Beth Jones takes a closer look. This small depression in a central Brown County field is a sinkhole. Usually in our region, it's not that populated, so a sinkhole is most likely to develop in an agricultural field, in a farm field, and that's where we find them. UW-Green Bay Geoscience Associate Professor John Luchai says sinkholes are prone to land where bedrock is dissolvable with rainwater. He says that type of bedrock can be found under these northeast Wisconsin counties, east of the Niagara Escarpment. The Wisconsin Geological and Natural History Survey says sinkholes in Wisconsin tend to be smaller than 10 feet across. Even though large sinkholes like the one in Florida are extremely rare here, Luchai says you can't rule it out. We do have some caves, like in places here in Brown County, or Door County, where there are caves as much as 90 feet deep that are dry. So it's, it's possible. Despite the rarity, area emergency personnel are prepared. Firefighters at the Oshkosh Fire Department will participate in their annual structural collapse training this week. Battalion Chief Rick Kremenauer says it helps them prepare for emergencies, from a building collapse to trench or sinkhole situations. And that's the type of training we're doing in the next number of days is awareness. Uh, being aware of and recognizing the situation you might be responding to so you don't take that extra step when you maybe should be taking a step backwards and maybe gathering more information um, is, is very important to what we do in a number of different ways. Kremenauer says other area fire departments also take part in this type of yearly training. In Oshkosh, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News.